Hey, so today we're going to talk about UV mapping. UV mapping is how we project textures onto objects. So we're going to use a sofa today. Um, firstly, I'm just going to apply a checkerboard to show you what if we projected a texture onto the sofa now, what it would look like. To make a checkerboard, I'll quickly show you how to do that. Get a new material and just open in the diffuse checkerboard. Then you can apply that to the object, show it in viewport, and I put it on 10 by 10. We have a look at the, the texture. This is what we want to put onto the sofa, but obviously it's not looking very good at the moment. So if we put the checkerboard back on, we can see what's happening. Um, we need to apply a UV modifier, UV map modifier, and already you can see but that's a lot better. So what's happening here is the image that we want to project, so in this case this texture, if we apply that you can see that this image is being projected onto this UV. So this is basically the image, imagine the image is on this plane and it's being projected down onto the sofa. You can see on the sides that it's stretching. So let's put the checkerboard back on. And the aim of the game is to get all the squares square. So if we go to our UV modifier and we change it to box, then we get to, we'll see the sides as well. And if we put in 100 centimeters into each box, and that one. Now that image is being projected from all six sides onto onto the sofa. So now if we apply our texture, you see it's nicely distributed, it's pretty good. And what we can do is if you right click and go scout, and if you open this and go to Gizmo, you'll be able to scale the texture up and down. This is the quickest way to change the scaling. Um, another tip is you see the joins lines. What you want to do is move this up and down just to get the just to get them in the right place so, so you can't see the seam. And um, this can be a little tricky and you can use the unwrap modifier but that's a whole nother story. So that can line up just about there. So that's looking pretty good and that's how you do UV mapping.